think the biggest thing that helped me was I incorporated a, a hop right before each pitch is thrown. So the goal is to have the hop timed when the batter is swinging at the ball. So once the ball is in the, the hitter's plane, I'm supposed to be coming down that way. I, it's kind of like a running start into the play. So I've been really, I think that helps me because it helps me stay focused uh, on the task at hand, which is to try to get the best possible read. And, and it definitely makes me, lock in more you know because i am trying to time something from 300 plus feet away and you have to really be you know dialed in on what's going on just to be able to do that and, and i really did feel like that's what helped me in the outfield last year and, and if you watch me at the plate like i have a lot of movement before the pitch comes so it's the same thing like i if i stand stag if i'm stagnant then i don't feel as comfortable so I just call it, you know, revving my engine. I'm just trying to, to keep my engine going that way whenever, you know, it's off to the races, I'm, I'm ready. You know, obviously I've been fortunate to spend spring training with two good teams uh, in the past. Uh, so the biggest difference in Cleveland versus the biggest difference in New York is like, you never know who's going to come in that clubhouse. So you never know what kind of conversation you're going to have. And, and you know, Reggie and I had a lot of good interactions uh, whenever he was around. And, and it was more just me trying to push the buttons and, and get him to to say something that would just make me laugh. So, you know, I, I miss those interactions. But obviously, I think everyone kind of understands with the way that, that things are going right now.